Hey, listen, I kept my promise. I couldn't let you down and only took a month. Sanji versus King. Let's get right into this. No wasting time. I did you guys a favor. Now do me a favor and hit that subscribe button. I would very much appreciate it. I know some of you guys listen to me say that and you don't give a flying fuck. Don't be evil. Just do it. So at first, I didn't know who wins this. Never really thought about it. I always knew King is insanely strong due to him devouring a rooftop Zoro. But then I realized why rooftop Zoro was so strong to me and so strong to a lot of people was mainly because of his Ashram moment. And he didn't use that or fight in that state in the King fight. I'm not saying he would have been able to kill King or defeat King with Ashram. I'm just saying a part of the reason why Zoro looked so strong and why that's such a crazy feat was because Ashram made Zoro look insanely strong. But that's not a factor here. So I don't know if I can clear King from Sanji. I actually thought about it. And Sanji's feats and his abilities actually make him favorite to win this matchup. And let me explain. Let's talk about his speed. And what if I told you Sanji might actually be able to perception blitz King. Sanji has the power to move so fast that he's practically invisible. We see this when he was able to completely disappear and and perception blitz queen on both occasions to even reinforce that sanji is moving so fast that he's practically moving invisible is the shush kanji that was being used when he disappeared against queen the first time and was also used when shiryu went invisible and sanji went invisible using the raid suit and what did those two people have in common they both have the ability of invisibility Woo! that was with bar so sanji is practically moving so fast that he goes invisible just like the man who has a devil fruit and just like sanji's raid suit ability but that's not all oda even reinforce Sanji has the power to become basically invisible based on his speed in an SPS. So if it wasn't confirmed there, Oda confirmed it himself that Sanji moves so fast that he has the power to be invisible. This is enough for me to at least believe he's faster than Flames Off King. Essentially because Sanji performs more and better perception speed feats than Flames Off King. And he's literally stating to be vanishing and does it for longer periods of time. A Flames Off King was able to perception blitz Zoro, but I don't think it's to the level of what Sanji's done obviously. Sanji's kanjis and what he's doing is literally vanishing with king they used the zip kanji and it was seemingly only for one panel which was still pretty impressive i believe sanji's speed is more emphasized as being a higher level than king's and even if you don't believe that sanji's attack slash moving speed can even increase making him more likely to be faster and would be able to hit king sanji's different jambes increase the speed of his kicks so naturally diablo jambe should make his kicks faster and since the high temperature increases the speed of his kicks imagine how fast blue fire if for jambe can make his kicks kicks so not only is he that fast already he has two speed buffs that can make him even faster so before the john base he had a good case for being faster than king and if you add any doubts this should have confirmed it sanji should have no problem landing attacks on king but one thing i noticed is that when sanji went to save momo in his raid suit while being invisible king and queen both didn't know what the fuck was happening and was confused i don't fault them for not knowing sanji was there to begin with but it was when they realized momo was getting unchained by seemingly nothing that they couldn't tell how or what it was was. They couldn't even detect Sanji being invisible. That shows me King and Queen can't detect invisible people. And that gets reinforced when Sanji perception blitz Queen and practically goes invisible and Queen couldn't see shit. So if King can't detect an invisible raid to Sanji, he probably won't be able to detect Sanji going invisible based on his speed like how Queen couldn't. With Sanji's high movement and visibility, King's lack of observation, and Sanji possibly being able to perception blitz him, plus having his different jambes even enhancing his speed even more, and in my opinion, and has a better speed feats and i think he's easily tagging it and outspeeds king and can evade a lot of king's attacks now can he deal damage to king he definitely can't damage flames on king because we never seen some shit like that in the series before by anybody but fortunately king tends to use his flames off in battle even when Zoro found out about king's ability he still tended to use flames off even though Zoro was piecing him up even before Zoro had advanced conquerors hockey he decided to use flames off for the boost in speed when he didn't really need to king went flames off several times before Zoro even had advanced conquerors Hockey. he pretty much just wanted to body him quicker that's all it was if these guys fought he would more than likely attempt to use flames off to keep up with sanji or attempt to land a hit on him since sanji is extremely fast i mean he took his flames off to capture raid to sanji if he's doing that to capture that version of sanji why wouldn't he take his flames off to capture a way faster version it's kind of unlogical to assume when we talk about lunarians they're just gonna stay flames off forever they're practically invincible like zora mentions in egghead and specifically states that you have to wait for their flames to come off to do damage that's how Luffy, Sanji, and Zoro are most likely going to defeat their Seraphims and win the fight. And that's how Zoro won against King. And King especially seems to go flames off way more than these Seraphims, so that doesn't even help his case. So Sanji can essentially manage to land Ifrit Jambi attacks in Flames Off. Since I already proved he has a speed to, I don't think he's more durable than Queen in Flames Off.
enough. At most, he's probably relative, but some people might argue that Queen's durability is higher than a Fames off King, which is okay, but I'll just say they're relative for the sake of the video. I do believe Sanji can land a couple of attacks on Flames off King in order to defeat him similar to Queen. Lastly, Sanji would be able to handle King's physical attacks to some extent. And don't worry, that's not me saying he won't get overpowered because his bitch ass will get overpowered because we've seen what happened to Zoro. King is mainly a brute force fighter, he still uses a sword, but he likes to switch it up and go brawl with people. I don't want to chalk this up to speed, so let's say Sanji stars out this fight and King is able to hit him multiple times. So in my opinion, if that's the case, King can essentially turn Sanji into a ragdoll in some similar moments to how he did with Zoro. But with Sanji's new upgrades, a lot of King's punches and and kicks shouldn't be life-threatening. In the latest arc, Sanji was casually tanking a Lunarium Seraphim made by King's DNA punch, and he took that shit with literal ease and tanked it. Some of King's attacks are fire-based as well, which won't be effective because we know Sanji is fire-resistant. So attacks like King's bootleg Diable Jambe, as well as the Imperial Flames he used on Marco, shouldn't have too much of an effect on Sanji. But I've seen King's base sword overpower Zoro, so Sanji will definitely get overpowered by King using his sword as well. And with his physical attacks. I want you guys to remember Queen broke every bone in Sanji's body and he even stated that he could still move fine and it only hurt a little bit. And not to mention he has regeneration if King manages to break Sanji's bones. King's aerial attacks and the face attack that makes him look goofy that he slingshots at you. Zoro states how can you block it? It's like a laser beam and we see Sanji when confronted with Queen's laser beams earlier in Onigashima even before his power up he managed to smile and dodge those beams like it was nothing. Even after his power up he was dodging Queen's sparkling queen if you want to scale that higher than those laser beams. Let's say you find Queen trash and his laser beams don't really mean nothing to you because it's coming from a trash character so it doesn't equate to the same speed as King's slingshot he does with his head. So let's use someone else who should be pretty strong. Actually let's use a Lunarian just like King but this time it was created the world's greatest scientist who created essentially the strongest soldiers. One of these seraphims shoot a beam at one of the Vegapunks and while it's traveling Sanji seemingly intercepts the beam as it was already traveling to the Vegapunk, grabs the Vegapunk, and gets out of there before the explosion even happens. And even Zoro was confused. Like, he's like, he doesn't even know Sanji's right beside him. So, yeah, I don't think Sanji has a problem with King's slingshot attack or any of his aerial attacks because I don't think it's even faster than that. But Sanji can always get caught off guard like he has before because it's possible. Sanji just doesn't dodge everything. It's not logical. But what I'm trying to show you guys is that Sanji has the ability to evade king he's faster than king and he can land whatever he wants on king but let's say that doesn't happen and king ends up hitting sanji sanji does have a second backup if that doesn't work which is obviously its durability and endurance the king has to go through two layers managing to hit sanji and then managing to do enough damage to where he can put down sanji king's attacks like i've shown you sanji should be able to take a beating to some extent if his speed doesn't save him especially guys when he was able to 2v1 king and queen before he even had his power up he was taking a beating from those guys and he was able to get right back up and once again this is sanji with no amp imagine him fighting king alone with his power up he should be able to take much more the only real threat to Sanji would probably be the extra large Imperial Dragon he used on Zoro, which is seemingly his strongest attack. But the problem with that attack is that it's kind of unquantifiable because it hasn't hit anyone or Zoro. So we don't really know how strong it is. To assume it could put down Sanji is kind of an unfair take, but I don't want to be the guy to say Sanji just dodges it, even though he probably get. But I don't really know what to say. This also brings me to my next point that Sanji has better AP than King. And his best AP feat is probably the self-explosion that Zoro state it would have killed him if he didn't get his Artemis hockey up in time. But that attack is like so situational. It seemingly looks like it's a rare thing for someone to do against King. Because that's why he said jackpot. Like that shit never really happens. I would be lying if I said I didn't believe Sanji can react to that similar to how Zoro did. I think we can all agree his observation is better than Zoro's as well. I also think Sanji has better speed than King. But unfortunately no one can match the durability of the Lunarian. So that's not something I fault on Sanji. I know people are going to bring up his Imperial Fire. That's kind of like Magma and say he could body Sanji because it's like magma so technically it's harder than ifrit jambe but what you guys have to remember is the two times you've seen this guy use his dragon attack that contains that quote-unquote magma zoro dodged it the first time and zoro cut it in half and speed
be blitzed in the second time. What am I gonna do with that? What do I do with that information? Do I just automatically assume it hits Sanji and he wins? If it never hit anybody and Zoro is blitzing these attacks, like what am I supposed to do? But yeah, guys, I'm down to your interpretation. I'm down to think what you guys think. So make sure to leave a comment. Let me know if you think King is stronger. I'm down to see what you guys say. Let me know if Sanji's stronger. I'm also down to see what you guys say. But yeah, guys, make sure to leave a like, subscribe. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.